In the last video we found that the matrix A with entries negative 4, negative 6, 3, and 5 had eigenvalues 2 and negative 1. So the objective of this video is to find out how to determine the eigenspaces, um, which are spaces of eigenvectors that correspond to these two um, eigenvalues. So let's start with uh, the first eigenvalue of lambda 1 equals 2. And uh, remember the eigenvalue eigenvector equation. Let's see, I'm going to put it in blue over here to the right. Um, it was the equation a x equals lambda x. And you may recall that we modified that equation and came up with a minus lambda i times x equals 0. And the way we determine the uh, eigenvalues is we said, well, we want that equation. We can think of a minus lambda i. It's, it's just a matrix. So that's really an ax equals b type matrix. And we want it to have solutions other than the zero vector. And the only way that can happen is if the uh, determinant of a minus lambda i is zero. So that's what we did to find lambda. Now what we want to do is, is just simply solve uh, the equation that I'm boxing in red now for our particular uh, eigenvalue of 2 right now. So uh, let's, let's begin by finding a minus lambda i. So in this case, a minus lambda i is a minus 2i. Okay, so that's going to be equal to, um, let's see, I need to move this down a little bit. Well, let's just go to diagonal, minus 4, minus 6, 3, 5 minus, and 2 times the identity is 2, 0, 0, 2. So the result of that is the matrix um, negative 6, negative 6, um, 3, and 3. Okay, so what we want to solve then again is the equation that's in the box in red. So we want a minus lambda i times x to be equal to 0. This right here is a minus lambda i. So that's our coefficient matrix. And the vector b that we usually use is just the 0 vector. So um, we find our solution by row reducing um, the augmented matrix, which is negative 6, negative 6, 3, 3, and uh, augmented with the, the 0 vector. And so the row reduced version of that looks like 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And so what we can see is that our second free variable is, or our second variable is free, so x2 equals t. And then what we have is that x1 is negative t. So any solution then looks like x equals t times negative 1, 1. So the set of all vectors like that is what we call the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue of 2. So I'm going to denote that by e sub 1 because uh, the subscript I want to match subscript we've used here. So e sub 1 is the set of all vectors of the form t times negative 1, 1. So we can let t be any scalar and we'll obtain a vector such that a times that vector is 2 times the vector because 2 was our eigenvalue that we were just working with. So um, again e1 is the eigenspace The vector um, negative 1, 1 is an eigenvalue, or eigenvector, excuse me, but so is any other multiple of that vector. Uh, and we'll have the same eigenvalue of 2. Okay, so what let's do now is uh, remember our other um, eigenvector, or eigenvalue, excuse me, is negative 1. 
So let's let's go to another page and I'll write the matrix and that eigenvalue down and then you should try to emulate this process um, to find the uh, eigenspace for the eigenvalue of negative 1. Our matrix was A, whoops, let's do that in black. So A was uh, negative 4, negative 6, 3, 5. And now we're working with the second eigenvalue, which had value negative 1. And so what you should do is pause the video at this point and try to use the same process we just used in order to find the um, eigenspace that corresponds to this eigenvalue. So go ahead and pause now and then start the video once you have your answer or once you're stuck. Okay, so here we go to find the eigenspace associated with the eigenvalue uh, negative 1. So a minus lambda i is going to be negative 4, negative 6, 3, 5, minus, whoops, that should be a minus there, minus, uh, and then what we do is we're multiplying the identity by negative 1, so it'll be negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. So we're actually subtracting negatives. The result then will be negative 3, negative 6, and then 3 and 6. So that's our a minus lambda i. And then what we want to do is we want to augment with the uh, 0 vector. So we're going to RREF. Uh, a minus, well, let me not write it that way. Um, we're going to RREF that, vec that matrix augmented with the zero matrix. So that'd be negative 3, negative 6, 0, 0, and 3, 6. And the result when we do that is 1, 2, 0, and 0, 0, 0. Okay, and so what that's telling us is that uh, x2 is free, so let's call x2 something like t, and x1 then would be negative 2t. So the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue of uh, negative 1 is the set of all vectors of the form t times negative 2, 1. So let's, let's test that. If that's true, then negative 2, 1 itself should be an eigenvector. So let's take uh, a times negative 2, 1 and see what we get. So that would be negative 4, negative 6, 3, 5 times negative 2, 1. And the result is, let's see, we get 2 and then we get uh, negative 1, which we can see is negative 1 times the vector we started with, negative 2, 1. Okay, so what we have here is that um, this part here is our ax, and this part over here is the lambda x. And of course, the two are equal. Uh, for lambda equaling negative 1 and x being the eigenvector uh, negative 2, 1. So that concludes our video on finding eigenvectors, uh, given that we already knew the, the eigenvalues.